Yes? Someone tag you. Oh my god. What are you talking about? Who? Tangible Reads. Oh. Awesome. Let's see. <laughs> Name someone you'd like to see do this tag. Oh, okay. I'll see. Let's see. Library Without Borders. So, Andrea, I like that. And... Hello, Jumbo Caribou. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chilanda and this is Library Without Borders. Alright guys, so I'm not sure if you actually heard that little skit at the beginning, but I have been tagged in my first book tag video. Yay! Alright, so the tag in question is the Give My Regards to Broadway book tag. And I was tagged by Tangible Reads, Courtney. So thank you, Courtney. And here are my recommendations for this particular book tag. Alright. Let's get started with this book um, tag. So first question, we have Fiddler on the Roof. If I were a rich man, recommend a book in which someone becomes very wealthy or very poor over the course of the story. So for this first question, the book I chose is Someday Maybe. Now, wait for it. This book is, first of all, I just finished reading and I love this book. It, it was really really sad very sad very heavy at times but anyways so the story is that this lovely woman is married to a lovely man who commits suicide and he is a rich man when she marries him so which means there's a fortune that he leaves behind and guess who will inherit all that fortune none other than eve that's her name in this lovely book so yes the second question is Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow. Recommend a book that takes place after the end of the world. Easy guys, easy. Octavia E. Butler, Dawn. Now in this book we have um, the end of the world obviously because humanity have succeeded to exterminate each other and we follow Lilith was being transported into a different galaxy where she will meet the Onkali people and basically live among them. So this is the perfect book for this particular question. Question number three, Hamilton. I want to be in the room where it happens. Recommend a book in which a character is in a room where they shouldn't be at a key moment. For this particular question, I chose the other black girl. So in the other black girl, we follow Nella. Nella works for Wagner Bro. She's in the um, publishing world. And at some point, there's another black girl because she's the only black girl at that publishing company. But then there's another black girl who happens to work for Wagner Bro. And it's actually a surprise. Like she's so happy to meet this girl. And her name is Hazel. And at some point in the story, without me telling you the whole story, Nella starts to suspect that there's something going on at this company and there's something fishy about Hazel. So she's invited at Hazel's place where she meets other different girls and they have all these different products to, be, to use in their hair, like these pomades and things like that. And unbeknownst to Nella, this pomade has something that basically <laughs> modifies the way you're thinking but at some point she decides to do her own investigation to see what's going on really with this girl hazel so she goes in her room trying to find anything that will incriminate hazel and really find out what happens at wagner books so if you've never read it pick it up it's an interesting read for question four oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plain recommend a book that makes very good use of its setting so for this particular um question i cho i chose the tattooist of auschwitz so this story follows two characters and it's based on real events and it's the story of lali and gita 
they are transported to the Auschwitz Birkenau concentration camp where they will spend I know Lolly spent there two years uh, and a half I believe Gita was there before him it is a story about two people who found themselves in a situation that some of us can't even conceive existed but they are able to have love in that camp and have it flourish among atrocious events that they both are daily witnessing so that i find is a very um wonderful book but also appropriate for this particular question because lolly is able to overcome his trials and tribulation by being promoted into like a tattooist which means he's able to not being subjected to a lot of other atrocities that some of his companions are being subjected to so that's the book i chose for this particular question the next question is number five it is phantom of the opera turn your face away from the garish light of day recommend a book in which a character actively embraces the dark side of their personality so for this particular question i chose ikenga by uh, Nedi Okora 4. Now, this story is of a young boy um, who's about maybe 11 or 12, if I recall. <laughs> and uh, his father is has been murdered. And he was the chief of police, obviously, in a town called Kaleria, somewhere in Nigeria. And Namdi, that's the little boy's name. He wants to avenge his father's death. And sometime during the night he goes out and he sees the ghost of his dad who this who bestows on him this little doll and this doll basically gives him magical power in terms of like turning him into like a dark shadowy big figure and with those powers he is able to wreak havoc um in the town of Calaria by taking out all those bandits and all those gangsters that have for so long threatened the city and the people of Calaria. So that was my choice for this particular question. So for number six, wicked. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. Recommend a book you love so much it made you feel you could defy gravity. Guys, that's a no-brainer for me. That's a no-brainer for me. So, it is Sister Mother Warrior by Vanessa Riley. Guys, I will never stop talking about it. I am sure by the time I make my most favorite book of the year, this one is going to be part of it. Rest assured. Because this book talks about a warrior woman in the King of Dahomey in Africa. And this woman is betrayed. She's sold onto the plantation in Haiti. So she's able to turn these slaves into warriors. And by turning them into warriors, she's able to lead an offensive army against the French army alongside Toussaint Louverture and defeat the French army. So, boom! Like that itself made me feel like I could defy the world. Just like the question say, like, boom. Okay, so last question guys, Greece. Number seven, Greece. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Name someone you'd like to see do this tag. Ooh, this is the fun part. So I have been following a few booktubers and some of them come to my mind that I would like for them to do this book tag and they are as follow rachel's reading nook if you're not subscribed to her subscribe to her she's very lovely isabelle toussaint i really enjoy her channel her content and i would also like to see mariah's mood um do this book tag uh, babe in the library bria's library and it's a wrap I look forward to watching your videos. That was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next nice video.